For tonight's benediction, please welcome Pastor Corey Brooks, Senior Pastor of the New Beginnings Church in Chicago and founder of Project Hood, an organization committed to fighting violence and poverty. All right. If you wanted to end on a boring note tonight with no emotion on a benediction or a powerless benediction, then you probably shouldn't have invited a black pastor from the south side of Chicago. Before I pray, let me say three things real quick. Number one, let me thank President Trump and the Republic Republican National Convention for giving me a platform to lift up the name of Jesus and to pray for our great nation. Number two, I'd be remiss if I did not give the great state of Illinois and Chicago and the South Side a shout out, O Block, Opportunity Block. And number three, I want you to make the biggest noise in just a second. I want you to raise your signs blow your whistles, and give God the loudest shout of praise on the count of three. And somebody may say, why? Because this week we could be having a week of mourning. But because God did not let any of those things be, this is a week of celebration and a week of life, a week of democracy and liberty. So I want to ask you on the count of three to make the loudest noise you can and let the world know that we serve an awesome God. Are you ready? Come on, are you really ready tonight? One, two, three. Yes, yes, yes. Are you ready to call on God tonight? <laughs> Heavenly Father, we come before you today with grateful hearts as we gather for this Republican National Convention. We thank you for this moment to seek your guidance. As I stand before you, many believe America is in trying, divisive times and has not been her best. We know this to be true. We have not been steady firm, resolute. Too many of us have forgotten how to be Americans. I see this on the south side of Chicago where I'm from. But I refuse to give up. Why? Because I still see the yearning fire within us to be better Americans. Lord, we ask for your divine presence to bless every heart and mind. Grant us wisdom and courage and discernment as we chart the path of our beloved country. May our deeds reflect your will and bring glory to your name. We pray for strength to better our individual selves so that we may bless those around us. Let us be reminded that we are one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Father, we lift up our citizens and leaders to you. Let them be guided by your truth. And may their actions honor the values upon which this great nation was founded. Let us remember the words of Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Empower us to rise, persevere, and to pursue excellence. Lord, bless our great nation. From Project Hood on the south side of Chicago to all four corners of the great nation, 
from the hills of West Virginia and Tennessee to Beverly Hills in California, all the way to the homies in Los Angeles and the homies on the west side of Chicago. May we renew our Americanness and strive to uphold your word. With you, Lord, all things are possible. I said all things are possible. All things are possible. In your mighty and matchless name, Jesus, we pray. Let everybody say amen. God bless you and God bless America. Delegates and alternates, ladies and